Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at an ESV New Christians Bible in a True Tone Deep Brown cover. I was asked recently about getting a Bible for someone who is just starting to come to our church, and I was looking around online and I found a Bible that I had never heard of before, and it's this Bible that we're looking at, the New Christians Bible. Now, sadly, I found out as I found this Bible that it is technically out of print according to Crossway's website. However, you can still find this Bible presently online. As I'm recording this, you can still find it on christianbook.com, for example. And I think this Bible is a really good idea. And I think it's going to be something wonderful to give to someone who's new to your church. So as I said, it's technically out of print, but at christianbook.com right now, it is still available in hardcover, softcover, and also in the cover that we're looking at in this video, which is a True Tone imitation leather cover in a deep brown color. It retails for $34.99, but actually you can get it at christianbook.com right now for less than $20, which is a really good deal for this Bible. This one comes in a slipcase, and the back tells about the Bible. The size is a really good size. It's the kind of size I, I really like. It's a 8.6 by 5.3, roughly speaking, inches, and about an inch thick. The cover on this Bible is actually really nice. It has a, a nice leather look to it, nice grain pattern there, but it is stiff. That's something I noticed compared to other True Tone covers from ESV. This one is a bit stiffer, and so it's definitely not going to lay flat out of the box. When you're in the front or back of the Bible, it definitely wants to close. But you can break that in over time. But just so you know, it is kind of a stiffer cover. The spine on this Bible is a blind stamped spine. And it says that it is the New Christian's Bible, ESV from Crossway. It has gold page edges and one ribbon that is also a deep brown color, at least as far as I can tell, that's what color it is. It has a paper paste down liner. Now to be honest, for the retail price of this Bible, I would like to see a nicer material for the liner. But for paying less than $20 for this Bible, it's absolutely worth it, even with a paper paste down liner. And I do think, looking at the overall construction of this Bible, it is Smith's own. So I do think this Bible will hold up pretty well. At the front of the Bible, you do have cardstock pages and also a presentation page. There's also an interesting emblem at the front of this Bible. It's kind of like a heart with a cross inside of it. Really interesting. I'd like to know in the comment section what you think of that emblem. Do you think that looks nice? Do you think that was a good addition to this Bible? I'm not sure what I think about it. I mean, it's unique and I guess it fits something unique that goes along with this idea of a new believer's Bible. I don't know, but that's what they put in here. The copyright page says that it is printed in China. It is the 2016 text edition. You have the table of contents page. And at the beginning of this Bible, there are some extra helps for new believers. There are some articles including what is the Bible, how to read the Bible, where do I start, and some Bible reading plans, which include a one month to discover the grand narrative of the Bible, and also a one year through the Bible reading plan. Then you have the preface to the ESV. And looking at the layout, it is a double column paragraph format. There are also poetic settings for poetry. The font is advertised as an 8.5 size. And to me, looking at this Bible, I was really surprised by this, but it looks like it's line matched. I know with the ESV thin line Bibles that are not large print, the ones that I've seen are not line matched. I know technically this is not a thin line, but I was actually surprised to see this looks to me like it is line matched, which really helps even more with readability. And there's not a lot of ghosting that I notice in this Bible. I'm not sure what the weight of this paper is. It seems to me like it might be in that 30-ish GSM paperweight range, but don't quote me on that. That's just a guess based on what I feel here. But the paper is okay quality. It is not too shiny, so I'm not getting a lot of glare when I look at this. Also, the print is black letter for the words of Christ, and it's a nice 
well done printing. This Bible also has book introductions, some translator notes, and again, this Bible has some things tailored for new believers, so it has 40 sidebars about core Christian beliefs. At the back of the Bible, you have the table of weights and measures, a concordance, and another feature that's good, especially for new Christians, is a dictionary in the back. I thought that was really nice. I just really like that they add some extra features in, some little extra helps that I think really would be useful to someone who's new to reading the Bible. And then you also have the maps from Crossway on non-glossy cardstock. So as you can see, this Bible actually is really quite nice for what you're paying. It's too bad that, again, according to the Crossway's website, it looks like it's out of print right now. Maybe though, if enough people start buying it again, maybe they'll put it back in print. Because personally, I think it's a great idea, even though I just found out about this. I think it's something a church like ours should have on hand all the time for people that are new to our church. And what I like about this Bible for a new believer is that if you give it to them, it's not like you're just giving them something that's really cheap. This actually is something that, when you hold it in your hand, is a legitimately nice Bible. It really feels nice. It's something that they can use for a long time. They can bring it to church because it's a nice portable size. Really nice for reading because it does have a good font size, good line spacing and they can read it at home, and it has some extra helps for them as they get started reading the Bible. So it has these extra features in it, but at the same time, it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're giving them a Bible with a ton of notes inside of it. It just has some little extra helps to get them reading the Bible. But again, it's still portable enough that they can carry it everywhere with them. So to me, this is a fantastic first Bible for someone, and I highly recommend it maybe for people that are new to your church, or someone in your family that needs a Bible that will just help them get started reading the Bible, or a friend of yours that is in that kind of situation, really good for all of these purposes. If you have any questions or comments about this Bible, I'd love to see that in the comments section below. But thank you so much for taking a look at this with me from a fresh perspective.